and I said, Mike, why don't you try the Pirelli P7? You might, you might like those. And can I get some free hugs? You can. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the bestest color. Midnight Silver Collective. It's Represent, man. It's over. All right. Hey folks, welcome. We're here in Florida at EVs NT, put on by our great friends at Evan X and Inside EVs. This is a huge, huge event. We have over, well, close to 700 cars registered they're gonna be showing out. Speaking of which, here's Mojo himself. Hey man, how's it going? Think baby blue roadster for me. So, here in this booth, we have our friends at Evanex, and check this out look at this they built <laughs> a cyber truck. Hey guys, Great job. how That's you doing? Great. Thank what you, Trev. Thank you. Awesome show. A lot of work. Um, Probably more work than we thought it was going to be, but it was a lot of fun. I have a new appreciation for how the Cybertruck was designed. Man. Well, look who showed up. Hi, oh, brother. How are you, man? Nice to Eli, my friend. How's it going? Right. Pleasure, nice my friend. Yeah, 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 well, That's yeah. right. I got a secret. I'm wearing my Tesla shoes, and that gives me superpowers. Oh, I'm serious. Yeah, look. Tesla He's shoes. got the... Guys, I can't decide what I'm going to do with the Cybertruck. Should I go black or chrome? What do you think? So, I have been doing road trips since before I got my Tesla, right? And I once actually had that range anxiety on my gas-powered Mazda. <laughs> I tell you why, because when you're driving through the U.S., like, you know, you're driving 3,000 miles, and the night gets you when the night gets you, right? And I was in the middle of nowhere, and I was lucky enough, you know, like, when I parked at the gas station, they shut down the lights, so like 2.30 uh. in the morning. I was like, please, I need to charge all the I need to stay here until the morning. What's the difference? You still drive a Tesla every day, What's that major difference that you would feel between you have experience with Taycan and, and the Tesla? Uh, well, well, car guys will understand. It, it is the intangibles that the Taycan is better at. On paper, in almost every metric, of course, a Model 3 performance, a Model S performance is better. It has more range, better 0 to 60 acceleration. But I'll tell you, the Taycan, in terms of feel, that car will place exactly where you want it to go. It has amazing braking power. I'll tell you, my Model 3, uh, after two laps of the track, brake pedal goes to the floor, the brakes are on fire, the Taycan can handle <laughs> pounding away all day. So that is, uh, for enthusiast driving, if you like to tear up a back road, right now, even though it's heavy, the Taycan takes the cake. Now who says you can't get an air suspension system in a Model 3? Look at this, a compressor, the tank. Look how low this thing is. I mean, oh man, it's so low, so low. Not just Tesla's here, but we have a Jaguar I-Pace and two Audi e-trons here. So there's lots of people out here checking out EVs, not just Tesla's. Well, we've come to the end of EVs and T for 2020. I want to say thanks to the guys at Motor One Inside EVs and the great guys at EvanX for putting this on. We just had a tour of the Motor One offices, and let me tell you, I can't talk about it, but oh my God, is it ever cool. We're looking forward to seeing you guys again next year. I hope you come out. It's going to be awesome. I'm really pushing for them to do it again here next year. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See you guys.